Let's make some bread. We're gonna make some pane de pasqua so I can look back and remember how I made it in the future. We're gonna start off this nice little journey with some milk. I trust you know what milk being poured into a measuring cup looks like, so I did not do that on camera. But then you add sugar, you don't know what that looks like, so this is fine. Then you're gonna take this one and a half cups of milk, which I absolutely already told you how much milk is going into this, this is not the first time. And a quarter cup of sugar, also not new information, and you're gonna make it nice and warm, you know? Once you get those boys nice and radiated, give it a little stir. Ooh. And then you can tell whether it's warm enough. You stick your little thingy in if it's warmer than you. Caitlin, how hot are people? 98.6. 98.6, whoa. Right now it's like me temperature. It's like a me soup, so it needs to go in just a little bit longer. And now that your me soup is a more delectable temperature, ah uh, yes, that is Goldilocks approved. Just right. Now you're gonna add two and a quarter teaspoons yeast into your milk mixture. Pour them on in, give them a little stir, get them all wet so they can do their thing. You know, the yeasty boys, if you will. Or, or if you won't, honestly, they are in there. This is doing unsavory things in that bowl. You're gonna take two eggs and crack them into a mixing bowl. A one. A two. That's when the owl makes that noise, right? Then you pour in a teaspoon of salt, which you definitely pre-measured and didn't have to do in a different take. And get one third cup of butter ready, because when your yeast has bloomed, you're going to want to pour some melted butter in there. Oh, would you look at that? The yeasty boys are back. They're going to have a concert tonight, you know? So we're going to add that butter into those eggs, that salt, give it a little pour. Take that nasty looking yeast spoon and scrape that butter off just what you want to see Ooh, that's real appealing give it a little swishy put the yeasty boys in concert take all the the stragglers out of their bowls so they're all happy back row seats i edited out all these clinking spoon sounds you are most welcome <laughs> and then give them a little swishy swish swirl them around now we're going to add flour. How much flour you want to know? Five cups. We're going to add it in slow. Oh yeah, don't want to go stir crazy. Topical. Get that, now you have a shaggy dough. Shaggy like the dog. Or the man, if we're talking Scooby-Doo. You're going to dump it. Right onto your clean work surface, ignore that tomato sauce stain, and you're going to scrape down your bowl, because you don't want to leave friends behind. And now you're kneading! Oh, you are so ready to knead, you're just kneading away. You don't need nobody, am I right? <laughs> oh god, that was terrible. We'll leave that in. And you're kneading for such a long time, and by that I mean like maybe five minutes, not really that long. Whoa, it looked like a frog for a split second, that was... Beautiful. And you're just gonna keep going, right? I actually need this fast. This is not sped up at all. Here he is, our beautiful bouncing baby boy. We're gonna find a pot, a pan, a bowl, whatever is big enough to contain this beast. And we're gonna pour a little bit of oil in the bottom. Or, uh, I guess a lot of it if you are a heavy pour like I am. And then you are going to dump the baby in, give him a little flipsy-poo so that he does not dry out, but he's also not sticking to the bottom. Could this really be one of my recipes if I did not make stuff up in the middle? No. So we're going to make a brick of butter, we're going to put some cinnamon sugar on top of that, and we are going to squish that into a rectangle. Put that in the fridge, and then we're going to make our next mistake. We are going to dye some eggs and beet juice. Doesn't that sound like it would work? No, I don't know about that. We'll have to stay tuned and find out. Our dough bin straight up chillin'. So let's cut it into four pieces. And let's take three of those pieces, cut them into three more pieces. 
And then let's do what the Dragon Warrior's father would want us to do and make noodles. Let's take that fourth ball and make it into a nice tasty rectangle for that butter strip. And keep making noodles. Then we're going to take our lovely noodles and braid. Classic braids. You know how it goes. You go over, then under, then over, then egg. Over, under, then over, and another egg. And then over, then under, then over, and under. Egg, over, and under. Wow, looking at it, that looks like spaghetti and meatballs. I kind of hate it, so we're going to change that. Could be any shape in the world. Well, not really, but dream big, everybody. Mm, hate it, hate it, mm, hate it. Okay, it's a figure eight now. Let's roll out that piece of rectangle for our lovely little lamination time. We're going to put that sheet of butter in there and tamp it down and roll it out. Fold it over, tamp it down, roll it out, and repeat, repeat. Pretend you're putting it in the fridge in between. But you and I both know I have not been doing that. So we are going to pretend and hope it turns out all right. We're going to do some more sweet braiding. Over than under than maybe an egg, you know, classic. And then once we're all done, maybe a little cinnamon sugar, and then we are going to let it rest overnight. And in the morning, we're going to make a lovely little egg wash and we're going to bake it. So here we are, we got our milk, we got our egg. The lighting's much nicer. We're gonna whisk that together with this fork. It is the Yeasty Boys' final concert. We're gonna get them all dressed up, all ready to go, and send them out there. We're gonna heat that oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake them for 35 minutes. Boom! That's it, friends. Our lovely journey is over. These piping hot fresh out of the oven ah it's so hot i didn't let them cool they're definitely burning my hands that's why i'm so composed uh yeah we're gonna throw some of that cinnamon sugar on top of that last one and when you look at that uh, you know it actually laminated it's got those little nice little stripes wow i'm so excited and so glad you joined me on this wonderful journey a very happy easter to those that celebrate and to those that just want a hard-boiled egg in their bread, happy that to you too. Have fun. Great day.